with Microsoft Excel 2010 or 2007, you have the ability to do undo a total of 16 times. Now, there is actually a way to change this, you know, and I wasn't going to talk about it in this video, but just for fun, I wanted I wanted to briefly talk about this. Microsoft does have an article out on support.microsoft.com that shows you how to increase the undo option in Excel. Now only do this if you're really experienced with computers. It's it, This is pretty simple though if you're familiar with the registry editor. And I'm just going to kind of sh show you guys what this is all about. How to modify the numbers of undo levels in Excel. By default Microsoft Excel keeps track of the last 16 um, of the last six times you do so you'll be able to undo 16 times. Microsoft does not recommend that you increase the number of undos beyond 100 and that's only because it's using your RAM memory and even if you have a lot of gigs of, of RAM you still want to keep this under 100. Personally I don't plan to change it but just as a real quick reference if you wanted to change it I'll give you a real quick demonstration. Just go to your start, type in reg edit. If you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, this would be the way to do it. If you're using Windows XP, just go to Start, Run, and type in Reg Edit. I'm going to go on and select it and hit Yes. Under Current User, it's only you're going to make this change under Current User. It's only going to impact the user that you're currently logged into. So if you have multiple users on your computer, it won't impact the other users. It's only going to impact the one that you're logged into right now. You're going to go to H key Current User. And what we're going to navigate to is Software, Microsoft, and then Office. And then, of course, you select the appropriate Excel folder that, that you're working in. So I'm going to go to my software. I'm going to go to Microsoft. I'm going to select Office. I'm going to use 14.0 because I have a 64-bit version of, of Microsoft Office. I'm going to expand that. I'm going to go to Excel. I'm going to double click Excel and there's going to be a folder that says options. Within here is where you're going to add a new value. Simply go to the edit menu. You're going to select new and what we're going to select is D word value. Because I'm using a 64-bit Microsoft Office, this is the option that I'm going to select. And I'm going to name this as Undo History. And hit Enter. I'm going to right-click it. I'm going to hit Edit or Modify. Change the value that I'm going to change it to 100 and hit OK. Now I'm going to go on and restart Excel. And let's see this into action. I'm going to go on and open up that same workbook I had. I'm just going to do I'm just going to count it up. I'm only going to go to 20. And let's see how many undos we can do. If this was successful, we're going to be able to undo all of them whereas before it would only be we could only do 16 so let's try this out 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so there you have it we were able to do 20 undos because of that change that we made now me personally I'm not going to keep that value there I'm just going to delete it but in case you do want to increase the number of, of undos you know you do have the instructions you can go to support.microsoft.com and do a search for this article how to modify the numbers of undo levels in excel hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching